They walk like army. They kill the enemy. Welcome to the world of ants. Every morning they are coming out of their nests like we people in search of food. Walking miles and never return empty handed. They carry several times more weight than their own body weight. They bring everything to their nests for their nest mates. There are about 15,000 species of ants around the world and about 700 from India. They are present everywhere, almost in every terrestrial habitat in the world, in soil, on trees, in fact, inside our houses. The body of an ant consists of three parts, head, thorax, and abdomen which is also known as the gaster. The head possesses a pair of antennae, mandibles and two eyes. In some ants, in all the queens, three eye spots are also present in the center of the head. These are ometidia. There are two segments between thorax and the gaster. These are petioles and post petioles, which differentiate ants from other insects like wasps and honeybees. Ants have six legs like other insects. Their life is much disciplined. They work with honesty, mostly walk in straight line with the help of a chemical known as pheromone. The pheromone is species specific. The leader ant spreads the pheromone over the ground and rest of the ants smell it and move in the same direction. But a few ants are solitary foragers. Their nests have many compartments for different activities. Ants are of different types in some species like soldiers guarding the nests and also the helpers. Ants are in fact sterile queens and a nest may contain thousands of workers. dispersals and as tillers of the earth. The total biomass of ants on the earth is more than the biomass of all mammals combined.
They help in cleaning the forest floor by consuming the dead animals. They are soil turners, important part of food chain system, and they render other ecological services. They work in collaboration and believe in social system. Feeding animals is a part of rituals in many religions. Many people feed different organisms. Feeding ants is also very common in India, mostly with sugar. But not all ants like sugar. So, for harvester ants, which love to feed on seeds, diet is easily available at the doorstep. The plenty of food increases the chance of their survival. This results in the increase in their number in abundance. One can find several polydomous colonies of these ants in each and every corner of the forest with millions of workers in this ant species. Sometimes it is very hard to walk around as millions of these occupy the place all the way. These are not the exotic species. These are the natives of the same forest, of the same area. But their abundance decreases the chances of survival for other native species. One can easily spot more than 90% of the forest area being dominated by these foragers. It decreases the chances of survival for other species. These are the nuisance for all animals too. So, if not tackled with planning and on time, these will cause a great problem to the degrading environment and be a threat to the food chain. And for that reason, once again, invaders may rule the world. There is a lot of things to be learned from these small creatures and their silent language needs to be decoded.